Hi, this is James C2. Welcome back to our latest tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at document generation in Dynamic CRM 2016. Document generation is quite simply the ability of CRM to allow you to generate documents which relate to information that's held within your CRM. That could be such things as quotes, proposals, purchase orders, invoices, payment and shipping records. It could even be used for promotional materials for marketing campaigns. In the course of this tutorial, we're going to show you how to generate a document using a template which already exists within your CRM. And then we're going to move on and show you how to create your own document template. In the example, we're going to give you we're going to create an opportunity and then generate a document so I'm going to move to my opportunities I'll go ahead and put in a topic we'll say document generation example I'm going to assign a contact assign that to our lovely Fiona fill in some more details So I'm going to save my opportunity, I'm going to assign a price list and select a product. We'll say that the person requires 25 of them. Their original budget was a thousand but we're going to go slightly over that. So I'm going to give them a £300 discount save my changes and then I can generate a document by going to my more commands going to word templates and there is the template I wish to use my opportunity summary so I click that it'll generate a template and here it is I'll just quickly open that for you we open up our document and here it is I can see that there is the contact that I signed there's the description of their opportunity, it's pulled through the current situation, the need, the proposed solution, the description, the quantity, the price, the total, the discount applied and the subtotal. And that is how easy document generation can be made within your CRM. You may also notice there are other fields included. So we've got the purchase process, the purchase time frame, the budget. I didn't put anything in for the estimated revenue or estimated close and therefore they are empty. But that's the general principle of your document generation. Very simple. So now that we've demonstrated how to use templates which are already in the CRM, we're going to show you how to create your own templates. We've identified a need in our CRM to be able to create shipping labels directly from orders. So what I'll do first is go to my templates area in the settings. I'll go to templates. There's a document template I want to create and this time I'm going to click new. We define the type of template we want, which in this case is a word template, and we have to notify the CRM or identify to the CRM what type of entity we want to be able to run this from. So from the filter by entity drop down, I can scroll through my entities that appear in my CRM until I find order and select entity. Now we then have to consider on our document what related records do we want to pull information back from. Now in our case it's information from the account. So I'll select that, click download template and you'll see it appears in your downloads. I can open it up, enable editing and then I can start to build my template. Now to save time for the purposes of the tutorial demonstration I'm going to stop recording for the time being while I build the framework of my template and then I'll come back to show you how to input your mail mail fields if you like. Okay so I have built the base of my document template, the skeleton if you like, so now what we're going to do is insert fields which will pull back information from the CRM. So we go to the developer tab in Word and click on XML mapping pane. And in the custom XML part drop down we pick the fourth one. It always starts URN Microsoft and then gives you some information that relates to what we're adding. So we're adding a template for the sales order. So click on that. I open up the sales order nav and that then lists all of the fields which are attached to the sales order. So I can start filling in my fields. So I want to insert a field here, an order number. So I'll find the number of the order. I right click on that field name, click insert control and choose what type of field I want to add. In this case it's plain text. If 
for deliver to, what I'm looking for now is the name of the account that this order relates to. And because I set that up in the last screen in the relationships area, if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there's another nav opens for order customer accounts. And that means I can insert information from the related account record. So from here, what I'm looking for is the name of that record. Right click, insert control. I want that as plain text as well. For delivery address, that's held on the order. So I can scroll back up. And you'll notice there are a few fields available for ship to. Now I could insert each of these one at a time. So I can insert line one, then line two, then line three. But because addresses do have a composite field, which takes all of those different fields and puts them into one, I just want to insert that. And then for expected date of delivery on form, that is called request delivery by, insert that, I want that in as plain text. I can then save my template. So I'm going to file and save that as, I'll put that on my desktop and I'm going to call it my shipping label. Save that and then I can go back to my CRM. I'm going to upload my new template that I've just created so I can browse, find my template, hit open and upload. That has created my new template for me. So to show you that in action, let's go back to our order and generate a shipping label from the order. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go to my more commands, select the word templates. There's my shipping label. Here it is generated here. Open it up. And there is our shipping label created directly from CRM using our template. It's pulled through the order number, it's pulled through the customer's name, it's pulled through the delivery address and the expected date of delivery as we set up. Hope that proved useful. One thing to bear in mind is that templates can be incorporated into your workflow. So you can have workflows that generate your documents. Once the template's set up, you can have a workflow just generates your document for you. If you're interested in that, please do have a look at one of our workflow videos. If you've got any questions please don't hesitate to get in touch also if you enjoyed the video please feel free to browse through our youtube channel if you'd like a free trial of crm just click on the link below and thank you very much for watching